Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the Fusal Puzzle. This is Wordle, but the rules change on every row. So for example on the top row, I don't get any yellows, the only hints are letters in the correct positions. So I think if I try five different letters, I'm probably not going to learn anything. Because unless I happen to get the right letter in the exact right place, it's just not going to help. So I'm actually going to try added. I wouldn't normally try a triple D, but I think in this specific instance it might be helpful because an ED ending is perfectly likely. But as it turned out, it has not helped me at all. Okay, I'm not allowed to use six random letters. Well, luckily none of those are the most common ones in the world, so we should be able to find five different ones. I was about to do cured, but of course it can't be an ED ending. We literally just learned that. So, let's try recut. Okay, so we do have an E. We just know it's not in second and it's not in fourth, because otherwise it would have been green on the first guess. Now, one tile in the row is a lie. Let's assume that the E is the last letter, so let's try poise. That feels like a useful word. It tries for remaining vowels. Interesting. So one of them is a lie. It's more likely that we've got an O than a P, so I think it's fairly likely that the P is the liar here. So it's probably blank, blank, O, blank, E, but that's not a guarantee. So my guess can be anything except a real word. So I'm definitely not gonna get it correct on this guess, but let's try some of the commonest consonants that I've not used, and we'll also test whether it is an O blank E ending. And it is, so that's nice. And the L is in the word as well, so that is also nice. Orange hints mean that the letter is within three letters alphabetically. Now I feel like the L is more likely to be second than fourth, so let's try glove. Oh, it's got to be globe then, hasn't it? What's for all here? The colouring is inverse. Blue tiles mean that another letter from your guess is in that spot, but if we get it correct, it doesn't matter. And given that the G L O E is correct, I cannot see what it could be apart from globe. And there we go. So not my fastest solve, uh, either in terms of speed or in terms of guesses. It's put my average win guesses up uh, a tiny bit, but always happy to continue 100% win rate. That's the Fusal Puzzle. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.